Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. In addition to the flowers blooming, a sure sign of spring is when the songbirds return. Give them a comfy home in your garden by putting out some birdhouses. Putting up birdhouses or nesting platforms in your yard can help provide habitat for native cavity nesting birds. Bluebirds, chickadees, barn owls, wood ducks, nuthatches, swallows, and wrens are some of the birds who will use birdhouses. In return for giving them a place to nest, the songbirds will provide you with hours of enjoyment. They'll also help you in the garden because a lot of birds, especially bluebirds, are insectivores and they'll help you with your garden pests. Before putting up a birdhouse, commit to cleaning and monitoring the house. A birdhouse that routinely suffers from predation or is infested with disease and mites does songbirds more harm than good. To be successful with a birdhouse, suit the build and location to the type of birds present in the area. Each bird species prefers a different size entrance hole. For example, bluebirds and swallows prefer a hole diameter of one and a half inches to one and nine sixteenth inches. Smaller birds, such as titmice and chickadees, like hole sizes of one and one eighth inch to one and one quarter inch. When building or buying a birdhouse, keep these things in mind. Wood is the best material because it breathes. Don't use pressure treated wood. There should be a quarter inch to a half inch vent holes at the top of the box. There should be drain holes in the bottom. Houses should open easily from the side or top for monitoring and cleaning. Only the outside of the box should be painted. Also, perches are dangerous. Starlings or house sparrows use perches when they destroy eggs and kill nestlings. If you buy a birdhouse with a perch, remove it. Mounting birdhouses on poles is the best. If you mount the house on a tree, it's more susceptible to predators. You want to place them about 30 feet apart because birds are territorial. And for bluebirds, you want to make it 300 feet apart. The height of the pole depends on the species of bird you want to attract. Most songbirds, like bluebirds and chickadees, choose nest boxes that are 4 to 10 feet off the ground. Others, like purple martins or nuthatches, prefer houses as high as 10 feet off the ground. Try to situate your birdhouse with the opening facing either a north or an eastern exposure, but not west or south because it gets too hot and that could kill the nestlings. In the early spring, hang out little baskets of string or wool or even pet fur. The birds will gather that and use it to make their nests. It's really fun to watch. Check boxes after 10 a.m. and before evening. Observe and listen. If you hear loud peeping or see adult birds, don't check the box. Tap the box lightly. If you still hear nothing, take a quick peek inside. Wear gloves and be alert for spiders or mice when you open the box. Be alert for signs of predation, like cracked eggs or dead nestlings. If the box has been predated, leave it as it is, and that will be a warning to other songbirds who may want to put a nest in it. You can build a cone guard or a baffle or a knoll guard as an anti-predator device. Check out our blog to find out how to build these. Help out your songbirds and grow organic for life.